We're doing circuit simulation, schematic capture, board design, build up. It's one of those kind of days. Hey, what's happening guys? Building a little uh, battery voltage, low voltage indicator for use with a LiPo battery. And I'm running this in multi-sim, which is from uh, National Instruments. So uh, let's go over the circuit here. Not too hard. Here's our voltage source. Then we have a voltage divider here to set the level going over to this transistor. This potentiometer here is just for fine tuning. We have a green LED here that will always be on. Whatever the circuit's powered, this will be on. However, if the voltage drops below our set point, then this red LED is going to light. So, let's take a look at how that works. Right now, we have our 50K by 3.3K voltage divider with a uh, 10K in parallel with it. You can see it's set for 50% and our LiPo is at 4.35 volts so our green light is on but if our battery starts to drop precariously there's 3.55 I don't know if you can see the reds just starting to come up and if we drop down there low you can see our red light is on you can adjust these values to get whatever you want so now that we know the circuit works, we can take our schematic here and move it over to our EDA program and then draw up a board. So here we are. We have our VCC source here. We have our ground source down here. And then we have a header for our power. Here's our 10K potentiometer you notice one part of its mark no connect because we're just using it as a variable resistor here is our voltage divider then we're using a 2N2222 here this 1K is just to limit the voltage from the LED you could change that to a lower voltage if you want that LED to get brighter I really don't need it to be bright then we have our red low voltage indicator I know that's red there but you can see it says green that there is our green LED. So the way the circuit works is when it's powered up this green LED is always going to be on because our power is going to come through here. As long as there's power here it's going to energize this gate or this, this base in this transistor and it's going to flow from collector to emitter and that's always going to be on. But when the voltage starts to get low this LED is going to kind of take precedence here and it is also going to start pulling some power. So that's kind of a neat thing because what, what's happening here when that voltage gets slow less is coming through the base to open up the gate the, the pathway from the collector to the emitter and it is going to allow that diode to start conducting. I mean if you want to talk about the specifics of it we can do that. So the way this is working is your uh, green LED here is generally going to have about 2 volts across it whenever it's illuminated. Now it's going to vary a little bit from manufacturer to manufacturer, but it's going to be around 2 volts. And it's pretty well matched in any batch, so you, know, you get a bunch of them, they're going to be relatively the same. Now you add the base emitter voltage and you need 2.6 volts on the base of the transistor across R3 to turn on the transistor. 2.6 volts across R3 needs the voltage across the supply rail. Below this threshold vo voltage the transistor is basically off and the red LED is going to come on. Above this voltage the red LED is off and by adjusting the values of the resistors we can alter our threshold level. Kind of. <laughs> it's all trial and error, folks. All trial and error. So here's the board I drew up. And I did it as a small circular board, about two inches. 
It's got a funky shaped ground plane underneath of it, but hey! We like funky around here, don't we? And you can see it'll say power on, low V. Pretty standard stuff. Now, you're going to have to kind of uh, imagine that this one here is green. Let's give you a better look at it. You can see our ground plane there. I marked this so we know that uh, this pin is positive, this pin is negative. And you can see the ones connected to the ground plane. If I change the board color, you'll be able to see the traces better. There we go. So you can see the positives coming down here. One through that and there. There, 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 there. Everywhere. So you can get an idea what it looks like. So, board's drawn up, Gerber's made, let's order it. Okay, I'm over here at PCB Way's website, and of course, you know, PCB Way is a sponsor. But I believe in their products, you've seen them, they, they do good work and they're relatively quick. So if we come over here to Instant Quote, Hello, Instant Quote. There we go. Instant quote. And we're going to use a quick order. I like to use this because it fills in your board sizes and you don't really have to worry too much about it. All you've got to do is add your Gerber in. I keep mine in downloads. This is called Learn Electronics Battery Low Voltage. It's loading our Gerber. There you get an idea of the front and the back. One design per panel. There's our size. We want five pieces. We will get these in black with white silk screen. You don't need gold fingers. Everything looks good. And if we come over here, you can see our price. It's five dollars for the boards. That is a buck a board. Can you could you imagine ten years ago getting PCBs made for a dollar a piece? I don't even care that the shipping's twenty dollars, you know? You can get different shipping. Let's take a look. DHL. China Post. There's your shipping for $6. Of course, it's going to take you two months to get it. How about FedEx? FedEx is a little bit more expensive than DHL. So, DHL is probably your best bet here in the U.S. Outside the U.S., your mileage may vary. Okay, so, we've got these orders ordered. Blah, 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 blah. Now all we have to do is wait for about six days. So that should be somewhere around Memorial Day. I'll see you then. The boards are back. Got five of them. Here's four. They are looking mighty nice. PCB way does. Very nice work. I don't see any real flaws on anything. I mean, like I said, whoop, fumble fingers. I think I don't play in the NFL, huh? Yep, they all look really good. And here's one I got done up. All nice, soldered up, and ready to roll yeah that's not a 10k that's all i had but it'll adjust just fine shall we give her a shot so i got the power supply set for 4.1 volts which is pretty nominal voltage for a uh, lipo type battery and then we have our dingle set up here let me get you back in the camera camera in the holder rather let's set up the power in this case green is ground and at 4.1 volt we are good now when I lower the voltage 
we get the red light. The green light is still barely lit. I don't think you guys can quite see that. Let me turn the lights off here. Hold on a second. Yeah. There's one, two. You can see the green is still kind of lit. Barely. And then once we bring the voltage back up, ta-da, we're back. So, a simple low voltage circuit you could add to any project. I hope you like it. I hope you use it. I will make the uh, Gerbers available on the uh, PCBWay website. I'd like to thank PCBWay for uh, sponsoring this video. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching. If you like it, please like, comment, subscribe, share, you know, all that good stuff. And hey, check out my Teespring store. I've got a new shirt in there. I've got some other shirts. Help a brother out. That's it. I'm out. Peace.